call me sass. Mmm, call me sass. Huh? Stop. Are you guys really idiots? Are you guys crazy? Guys really idiots. You guys are really stupid. He's catching the box with his ass in a video, motherfucker. He's catching the box with his ass. Hello my favorite subscribers. I'm Maxim. I'm a fan of sitting on marketplaces and I can spend hours there. One of these days I found a cool phone. It cost 8 bucks. You can say, Maxim, it's a joke. <laughs> How can a new phone cost 8 bucks? And I should probably apologize for the joke. By the way, hear this. A bear got into a car and burned up. The phone cost like free taxi rides in my town, or free cups of coffee, or to breakfast at a cafe, or free books, or 12 beers. Well, I mean the shit for such money not only knows how to call and text, but also has a radio calendar stop watching games. And it's great. When I sold these games, the longest I was happy it reminded me of the state of a childhood's holiday. Not enough game about houses, I think, so I would like it very much, where the tower then wobbles. Yeah, and so everything is very good and the radio raises the mood and the sun, which is not enough the last days, are very enough well. Um, I would probably like to eat. Yeah. Since the channel is about games, so we will not talk about the calendar. My apologies. So, the first game is Python. I mean, if the name is wrong, programmers, I apologize. In Snake you have to eat some balls for 300 bucks. Uh, my Snake grew by 15 points. It was my best record, then I just tired. There are three modes in the game, but I never realized how they differ, to be honest. Uh, well, that's the snakey. The second game is about a spaceship. Here we need to destroy space things. What is it in general? I, I don't know. Kiwi? Okay. Kiwi attacked the earth. And this is generally some dragonflies. Okay. And the sound. Am I the only one who has anxiety because of it? That's the real scary shit. Not your students. And I think I found the sample for the track. Okay. In the third game we need to collect parcels on parachutes. In either a wheelbarrow or a car, I can have no idea what is it, but uh, something like this I saw in the villages. In this thing brought hay to cute cows, you know. Sound accompaniment is again George's. Did I go to the library of sounds for beats? Apparently from this game the drummer got a cramp, otherwise I cannot explain his desire to beat off hi-hats every second. In general, fellow beatmakers, you can take the sounds and make strong music. In the fourth game we have Tetris. The game is cool, I cannot say anything. This is so enjoyable, I played it in a school. It was such fun at school, everyone had some kind of 8-bit console. With War Thunder, <laughs> Joking, Tetris and here we are at recess, breaking each other's record. It was a good time. In the fifth game we are greeted by that sound again. I can no longer think about the game, why it even exists. <laughs> In the game you have to drive your car as long as possible while moving in dense traffic. Don't do that in real life, please. I know you little bandits, so don't do this. In the sixth game, yeah, yeah, there is so much here. You need to run Janja... Jan Janja... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is Janja? <laughs> okay, you need to run... <laughs> Ninja. On the construction screens uh, and Dutch circuits under the beautiful music. Okay. In the seventh game, there is normal music, amazingly. And the game itself, by the way, was quite cool. Here you need to jump by micro dude over obstacles while calculating the time of holding the button. It's a really cool game, and I even got stuck in it. Here's one such phone we had today. The video is short, but I'm already making new ones, so wait. Thanks for watching. I'm waiting for your likes and comments. See you soon. Bye. By the way, it ended up being broken and had to be returned. Enter the news of the globe. In Russia, a recording of a customer service conversation at a store has leaked online. The recording has created a furor, 
and now a dispute has erupted in the communities, who is right and who is to blame, the seller or the buyer. This morning, the investigative committee announced the opening of a criminal case against Definitely Not Scam LLC under Article 159 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation for Fraud. Fucking fuck of your fucking store. Who the fuck are you to sell this? We sell phones with no warranty. I fuck your mom, you should have a fucking warranty on this fucking phone. We've always done this. That's what happened to people while you were doing it. Trouble with the connection on phones? Phone? Fuck phone! Give me a minute. The sailor said you broke it. What are you even talking about? Are you morons? Are you really idiots? Are you really stupid? This one says, I'll transfer you to another operator, right? This one says, we're not involved. Fuck you! You have a service center to do it. Well, are you really an idiot? You're fucking fuck or fucking fuck! A fucking asshole! And this declaration, what? You, you tested the phone in front of my fucking eyes! It didn't work! I fuck your bullshit shit! I'm gonna tell everyone on the internet what I 